Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today I'm in Milwaukee at the World of Wheels and if you want to see a great World of Wheels show, look in the description of this video and you'll see the website to see all the great World of Wheels shows. That said, I'm with Rick. Rick, your last name? Pat T. And Rick, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner convertible. What's under the hood? 383 with a 727 transmission. <laughs> nice. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. Well, you like when they look like this, and this car, like most of them, have an interesting story. First of all, we've got the bumblebee stripe on this one. What's the color on this? <clears throat> this is a, a, a viper yellow. Viper yellow. Nothing wrong with that. Now, the interesting story, tell me the story about this car. How did you originally get that? What year did you find this car? I found this car in 1979. 1979. And when you brought this home, it had a little challenge with the uh, uh, suspension, but your dad told you what? Never, never sell this car. <laughs> Dad's advice, never sell this car. Come on with me. Now, the car did not look like this originally. What happened to it? I bought this car down in Milwaukee, South Milwaukee, yeah. with a, from a friend. I was trying to make a tilt front end on it, okay. and he cut the inner fenders out, and that's part of the body structure. And so that's a no-no. That's a no-no. Kids, don't do that at home. And I, I pieced it back together back then and, and drove it when I was a kid. And then what happened? You put it somewhere. And then uh, I had to take it off the road. In, uh, 1982, and I give it to my dad, and he stored it up in the barn. Uh, 1982 to 2015, I got it out and started restoring it. It took me to 2017 to get it all done like this. So there's an interesting story when you restored it to get it all done like this. It's got a big rake in the back. Is there super shocks on the back, or? I put air, I put air shocks. Air on. shocks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to bottom out on this. This reminds me of the days when it was in '70. Remember when we used to jack the back ends up real high? That's, <laughs> that's exactly. Go ahead. I, when I first restored it, I had normal <laughs> shocks on it. Yeah. And the girlfriend says, "Why don't you jack the back end up?" Yeah, right. Like so, we used to do in so the I 70s. says, "I saw well, you buy me a pair of air shocks, and I'll do it." And she did. Oh, really. <laughs> This is a good girlfriend. You better not say her name. There's guys on the channel. They want to get that kind of girlfriend. He goes, yeah, I'll get you your air shock, sweetheart. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that back end's way up there. Roadrunner. Okay, let's open up the trunk, please. The Viper Yellow really pops. So here's the actual build sheet for the car. We give a little, do have a little trunk and treats for you. No jack in there or anything like that. No spare tire either, right? Nope. So everything was taken out. I'm not going to have any problems like that. Let's uh, we just show a couple more details there. Like so. All right, we'll close here. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Can you open that for me, please, Rick? Thank you. This is neat. As you join me, I'm the Roadrunner. So, how do you feel driving it now? I'm more relaxed now. The first few years going to shows, I was a nervous wreck. Really? <laughs> like a, a lot of money stuck in this car. <laughs> And finally you said, ah, money shmoney, I'll just drive it. Got it. Has it got to be turned on to beep it? There we go, thank you. If we didn't do the beep beep horn, that wouldn't be a good idea. So tell me what this device is here. I mean, I can see that it's... That's an 8-track. 8-track. Is that time period correct? 
It's not factory. Uh, no, no, I know it's not factory, but it looks time period correct because, well, it's yes. an A track. Yeah, yep. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> With meatloaf in there and the Roadrunner hat. Uh, that's just great. And of course, you got the Roadrunner on the door, too. Let's, um, what would they usually put here? A tack? That would be the, the tick tack. Tick tack and the tack. Thing. Thing. Yeah, tack. okay. All right, let's open the hood, okay. shall we? Go ahead. That was factory like that, so okay. I didn't change it. Yeah, I kept it that way. Nice. The 383 Roadrunner engine, or if I went right over the top, it looks like that. There's your all important beep beep, 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 purple horn. Looks like we've chromed a few pieces here. Yeah. A little upgrade. Nothing wrong with that. And I shouldn't have. Because they deduct me and, and oh, who cares? <laughs> who cares yeah. about that? So yeah, yeah. you like it. I, I like, like it. it. Yeah. You did it. Yeah, they deduct your points. You made it look better. <laughs> yeah, you made it look better, and they they want to deduct a point for that. That's 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 okay. We'll keep it chrome. I like it chrome. Gives a little pop to that under the hood. Make it your car the way you like it, especially if Dad said you're never going to let it go. All right, well, it's time to fire it up, right? We'll fire it up. We're going to uh, let it idle. We'll step on the brakes. I'll take a look at that, and then we'll give it a good rev or two. Give it a what? Give it a rev or two. Okay. said never sell it. Yes. Your dad took it out of the barn. Yeah. What was the day you had your first car show? The first car show was in uh, 2017 Father's Day. Father's Day. And, Who'd you I, bring? and I took my dad to the first <laughs> show with it. He was he that was in great. he was in heaven talking yeah, to everybody. That is great. That's a great story. It's a great way to end this episode. Yep. And, uh, and your father's passed away. Yep. I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, it's great that you and Dad had that magic moment for sure. Yep. Thanks so much for being on my car story. No problem. <laughs>